During the last days of 2016, many Turks shared a common wish for the new year, an end to terrorism and a peaceful 2017. That did not happen, as the country was shocked with a terror attack at Istanbul's Reyna nightclub that killed 39 people in the early hours of Sunday. Citizens were devastated as their New Year wishes had already been crushed. Many of those killed were foreigners, another blow to the tourism industry in Turkey which was already suffering. Reyna is situated on the famous Bosphorus Strait connecting east and west where many of the luxurious restaurants, bars and hotels are located. The manager of the House Cafe and Hotel, only 200 meters away from Reyna, tells us they too have been affected. The number of visitors have dropped definitely uh, to our restaurant, uh, the one in Ortega as well as the other ones. And also we see a change in the profile of the guests as well. Uh, be, be, before it was more like there were uh, guests from Europe and US, now the numbers, their numbers drop significantly, so that it's replaced with the Middle Eastern guests, and as well as we have the locals basically always coming to and enjoying our restaurant. Since mid-2015, Turkey has been victim to many acts of terrorism, including suicide attacks, car bombings, gunmen spraying bullets with machine guns. This has had psychological effects on many civilians here in Turkey who are concerned and frustrated, though their reactions differ. Of course we are afraid, but inevitably we still go out. Life goes on at the end of the day. Today I'm going out to see my friends, but I feel anxious. I'm avoiding bars, restaurants, crowded squares. I've been forced to change my daily routines. I think that our generation is, has gotten accustomed in a way uh, to, to uh, these kinds of events. They became somehow, unfortunately, the new normal. Uh, and I don't think that my life is going to change or be affected by it. I refuse that my life get changed by it, actually. The Turkish government aims to bring back a sense of security to the country, with a deputy prime minister emphasizing they are determined to continue cross-border operations until terrorist organizations can no longer harm Turkey. Mikhail Bardavid, CGTN, Istanbul.